good afternoon. Could I ask you to introduce yourselves, please, and tell us what you do in Myanmar? Yeah, my, my name is Chuchu Denji from uh, Yangon Technological University. Uh, my field of specialization is water resources engineering. Okay, thank you. My name is Tai Tai. I work up for Myanmar Maritime University. The department is River and Coastal Engineering Department. Okay. My name is Ye, and I work for Myanmar Maritime University too. I'm a lecturer for Department of Port and Harbor Engineering. Thank you. And can I ask you, Nien, which course you're following at IHE Delft? Yeah, the short course for the Integrated Coastal Zone Management. Okay. Yes. And Tai Tai, um, you're following a different course. Yes. What is it? That is at the Integrated Hydrologic and River Modeling course. Right, excellent. And I understand that your attendance here forms part of a project in Myanmar. Yes. Can you please explain how that works? Mm -hmm. This is what you call programs. It's what you call came to Myanmar, especially for the capacity development for the two universities. One is a technological university, Yango, and the other one is our university that we call Myanmar Maritime University. Yes. So capacity development project will be focused on the integrated water resource management. So for that purpose, we came to hear learns about the kinds of water resource management and modeling codes that you attend at the IET course. That project will be takes a full year project. So this is the, the what you call additive support in the second year of the, the project. Thank you. And Nian, what do you hope to learn from this course? Yeah, we, we hope to get the knowledge to protect the environment because our country, country is developing rapidly. Yes. So we need to get a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. and from, uh, from this course about the environment. And you're near the end of the course. Are you happy you've gathered a lot of knowledge yeah. and practical knowledge that yeah, you can exactly. use when you go You can back? learn a lot of case study. Yeah. And Chocho, how will you apply what you've learned in the course when you go back to Myanmar? Uh, being a university lecturer, uh, now we are uh, conducting a water resources engineering course in uh, our university. Uh, future, we will try. Uh, we will try to provide uh, water management courses because our water management uh, Myanmar is a uh, uh, Myanmar has abundant water resources. So, an agricultural country. So, we have to uh, manage water resources uh, effectively and efficiently without any impact uh, on our environment. So, I. Here, I came and attend uh, these courses, Integrated Coastal Zone Management, uh, to conserve our coastal. And we now we are developing uh, a deep seaport in our course. So we have to learn, we have to know uh, how to conserve our coastal environment. Okay, thank you. And all of you, what has been your experience studying here at Aichi Delft. Yes, last year I also have a chance to visit to Delft. At that time, I just visited to the Aichi and yeah. learning about what kinds of courses are offering in here, yeah. what kinds of programs in mm -hmm. here. So that's, in that time, I have to participate in the meetings mm -hmm. here and also learning about the, what Aichi is working here. Yeah. Okay. And Yen, um, what would you say are the main differences between IHE Delft and your university? Well, the, our uni, most of our university are government funded university. So the facility, comparing the facility here in IHE and our university, are quite different. Right. Yeah, here, the learning environment is very good. And also, here is the International Institute. Institute. So we can have the student HA, we can have a lot of international exposure, but in our country it is still limited. 
at the moment. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. And um, Taita, what? How do you see the future of capacity exchange with Myanmar? Mm -hmm. How do you see it develop yeah. in the future? Yeah, that, that will be great, not only for my university, but for the education systems in Myanmar, if we can collaborate such kinds of program, existing program. Because of, we already talked about the NAPU project in Myanmar, so some students, master students from TUDO, also they have a kind of cooperative research with my students and also with X. In that case, not only for X, but also students, they have a kind of chance to learn about what kinds of research are working, how they did it, and also they have a kind of communication with the students from TUDO. So that make kind of a good networking for their future education. So they have a kind of confidence to learn some more about the, the things related to water resource. In that case, also I really prefer if we have a chance in future, kinds of the collaborations, short courses, and also exchange research students yes. yeah, in yeah. the two bodies, I mean the IHE and the, our university there, that will be great. That can provide our country to promote the education system, especially for the research. That's still really weak in Myanmar, so that will be so nice to better improve in the research sector for the country. Thank you very much. Thank you all of you. And I hope that you come back for more courses and bring your students in the future. Thank you very much.